Hey everybody, welcome back to another video and in this video I have my EcoFlow River 2 portable power station here right in front of us. And so this video I'm going to test out the input amount of wattage going into the EcoFlow so you can see on the screen here how much power is being inputted. So I'm going to put it into three different tests. Um, one is going to be, actually I'm doing four. One is going to be by using a power outlet. So it's just a regular 120 volt outlet. And then I'm going to test out using the car, using the DC inverter. And then also um, using my solar panel. I have the EcoFlow 160 watt solar panel. And then you can also use the USB-C right here in the bottom uh, to charge it up as well and see how much wattage that you are getting when you buy your EcoFlow River 2. Because sometimes this might not be enough for what you're utilizing when you're going out camping, when you're going out hunting, fishing, or if you just want to use it in general for your you know, at-home devices. So. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to plug this in with the first wall outlet and let's see how much power the River 2 is going to be receiving here. All right, it's kicked on. Now it's getting some power. You're at 100, 200, 240, 260. 330, 340, 350. So it's saying about that 350 mark there. So that's pretty impressive. When we look at how much wattage is being inputted, 350, and it's going to take about 27 minutes for the recharge time on this here device. Perfect, now we see it at 350. Let's move on to the car for DC charging power. All right, guys, we are now in my car. I'm gonna plug my EcoFlow River 2 into my power outlet in my vehicle. This is gonna be the DC charging. My car says that it has a 180 watt max for the output. Um, and I believe on my River 2, it only goes up to 100. So let's see where this is at here. Let me plug it in. Right now it goes to 40, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. Well, there you have it, guys. The fan is turned on. It's going at just a little over 100 watts of charging when you are in the vehicle. So it doesn't go any more than that. If you are looking at something more than that, you would need a regular plug-in outlet to go beyond 100 to charge your River 2 a lot faster. So if you use this way, it, it will take a little slower than the plug-in, but in the car, um, it looks like it's gonna give a sufficient amount of power to the River 2. So let's unplug this one and let's test Next step is going to be the USB-C input. And then lastly, we are going to check and test the solar panel 160 watt by EcoFlow. This is going to be the USB-C type charging input. Um, I'm not completely sure how this is going to work or, or what wattage it's going to take in, but let's test it out. I have a USB-C cable right here. I'm going to plug it in. And what is it going to give us here? Okay, so it's charging. It's good. 14, 17, 17 watts. And it takes about five hours from 58% to go all the way up and go to 100%. All right, so now I have my solar panel wires here hooked up and we're going to test out how it is going to work with a solar panel right now. Currently, it is not as sunny. It's actually pretty cloudy right now. Um, and with the cloud, I actually want to show you 
how this works and how the solar panel works when it is cloudy. So right now it is pretty cloudy. There's not much sunlight. So it is just cloudy, shady. Some sun is gonna come out here pretty soon on, on that side. But um, let's test it out and see how the EcoFlow River 2 handles out in a cloudy condition. So now it's charging. Hopefully it's producing some wattage here. And as you can see, even when it's cloudy, it's producing about 36 watts for the EcoFlow River 2. All right, so as the sun actually comes out even more, it's producing a lot more wattage. And when it got up to about that 60, 65 watt mark, the fan did kick on. And now it's getting to be back down to cloudy, but in a couple minutes here, it's going to be uh, a lot more sunshine and rainbows than it is now. Okay, so there's now no more clouds. It's a lot more sunlight and I have my solar panel laying flat and it is producing about 64 watts on the solar panel right now. I did some research on the EcoFlow River 2 and the um, input for solar panels on the EcoFlow River 2 is up to 100 watts. So I know that for my 160 watt solar panel, um, it can definitely produce more. And I've seen it produce more. I've seen it produce up to 110 before. Um, so this is just a fraction of what it is. Now, if you were to, let's say, if I were to angle my, my solar panel higher, facing towards the sun, you can see that it's bound to 84 watts just by angling it just like that. Now it's yeah, 83, 84, and if I did the same thing for the other solar panels, I can definitely get more wattage output on there as well. And I just laid it back down, and it got down to about 61 watts. By having full power of the sun, yeah, you can definitely get up to 100 watts on the EcoFlow River 2. All right, so there you have it, guys. We went over everything that the EcoFlow River 2 can possibly handle when it comes down to charging this device in many different ways. As we talked about, one way was the DC for the car. Another way that we talked about was using the wall plug and outlet to charge this device here. Another way was a USB-C and you can charge that device there. Another way is using your solar panel. As you can see, you can go up to 100 watts for input for the solar panel. So there's multiple ways that you can charge this device and you can have it work in your favor. But that's it for this video. If you have any other questions, any comments, any concerns, shoot me a comment box down below. If you want me to make more of these videos or different kind of videos about the EcoFlow River 2, let me know down in the comment box below as well. But until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.